finally, good news for Harlem, West Harlem in particular. We all remember Columbia University's expansion in West Harlem from 125th to 133rd, from 12th Avenue to Broadway. Well, Columbia University brought a lot of pressure to bear on the property owners, the business owners in the development site. Well, the two holdouts, Nick Spray Reagan, who is the owner of Tuck It Away Storage Company, and the Singh family, the owner of a gas station at 125th Street, not too far from the West Side Highway. The two lone holdouts filed suit in the appellate division of the New York State Supreme Court against the Empire State Development Corporation, the state agency that jumpstarts eminent domain, that is the seizure of private property for Columbia University, a private institution. Well, that case was uh, argued in the appellate division of the state Supreme Court in May of 2009. And here we are, seven months later, the court has rendered a decision and it has sent shockwaves throughout the real estate community because Columbia University lost their lawsuit in a stunning decision, three to two, the appellate division ruled that Columbia University, or rather the Empire State Development Corporation, using eminent domain to seize these two private properties were in fact illegal and unconstitutional. In a scathing decision, the jurists talked about Columbia University's con collusion with the state, with the in Empire State Development Corporation in the seizure of this property. Well, it's good news for us. It may be temporary because for sure, as the university has indicated, they will appeal the decision. So stay tuned.